that the main priority is to make sure that they're competitive and econ economically by being in the Champions League. <clears throat> no one's not, not going to want to win trophies. If there's an opportunity to win an FA Cup by beating a championship side in the fifth round to draw another championship side in the quarterfinals, you'd think they'd want to take it. And Daniel Levy will certainly wouldn't be saying to, to the incumbent manager, whatever you do, don't you win this FA Cup with these two easy games in front of you. <laughs> right? um, but the bottom line is, whatever you haven't got... When you listen to Tim Sherwood, and he's right that Daniel Levy's priority would be top four, but it doesn't mean he's not got a focus on winning uh, winning cups as well. Yeah. He ain't going to win the Premier League. Not with Tottenham, not against the opposition, unless you change the whole economic model. And there ain't many of those about. They're not going to win the Champions League. They've got a chance and didn't turn up in Champions League final. Whose fault was that then? Was that Daniel Levy's fault or was it the players on the pitch at the time? And here's the question that needs to be asked and answered. Whatever you haven't got is what you complain about. All we listen to is when players haven't got a decent training ground at Man United and they need to move to a different... Well, we didn't have a decent training ground. The facilities aren't good enough. What did Roy Keane say about Ireland? What do these people talk about when they say they, haven't, they go to places and they're antiquated? What did Ronaldo talk about when he came back to Man United? Nothing's moved on. So the bottom line is, is it's absolutely all fundamentally part of it. And he's right. Of course he's right. They've got it too comfortable, too easy. But that's the modern-day footballer. And if you dare challenge the orthodoxy of that, all of a sudden, you're a philistine, mm. you're a dinosaur, it doesn't work that way anymore. Of course these players need their pants pulled up there around the top of their heads and tied in a knot and reminded <laughs> of their responsibilities of playing for a big football club. But tell me tell me why Conti can't do it. Tell me why Conti has the audacity to sit here, set the whole place on fire, tell everybody that they, aren't got, they haven't got the backbone and a culture and they're accepting losing and they accept a certain level of pressure when you're the guy that's supposed to be the pressure cooker. Exactly. But surely winning trophies is more important. Whoever will remember what a season two or two or three seasons ago? Do you remember that when we celebrated top four? No I one. I mean, come on. No but, one. You know, fans no and one. players at Wigan Athletic walk into the DW Stadium, Drive. and th there are pictures of the day okay. that Ben Watson's goal like, won them the FA Cup. It's history. Yes. And if he hadn't missed a penalty for me in a playoff semi-final, I might not be saying. No, but that's, that's quite a different. Dis that's a different discussion. But you know, it's the old dri driving for show, putting for dough, isn't it? You know, we get we won the League Cup every year for the last ten years. Everyone would go, and so what? It's a Mickey Mouse Cup. You'd have won a trophy. They've had opportunities to win the FA Cup. There's nothing stopping Tottenham Hotspur from winning the FA Cup. Not Daniel Levy and not anybody else, besides endeavour and commitment on the day. Yeah. There's nothing stopping that. There's everything stopping them winning the Premier League. There's everything stopping them winning the Champions, Champions League. And I'll tell you what, there's a few clubs in front of them that will squash this argument into the ground, besides the Spurs fans that think they should have the latest billionaire walk through the door. Right? But other than the fact that you've got... And the Liverpool model is exactly the same. The only difference between Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur is Jurgen Klopp. That is the, and of course, the legacies of Liverpool's past and all the great players like soon as they have played there in the history of yeah, Bill Shankly yeah, yeah. and Bob Paisley yeah. and Joe Fagan and on and on and on, right? But the bottom line is, is that in this modern model, there's zero difference besides the guy in the dugout. If Tottenham Hotspur had Jurgen Klopp working with Daniel Levy, he'd have worked the Oracle. You never hear Klopp. Everyone's saying, Klopp, why don't you push back on the fact you're not being given the kind of money to spend to match the competition that you've got? You never hear Klopp do it. He works with the cloth that he's got and he tells, turns a sow's ear into a silk's purse most of the time. Are if, you now from the school of thought that Conte will actually do Tottenham and Tottenham fans a favour by oh, disappearing into the ether? Yeah. Yeah, give him a, a one-way ticket to Palookaville. He has disappointed so many people. I had him as a person that was a nailed-on winner that would drag them kicking and screaming into different places. Did I think they'd win the Premier League? No. Did I think they'd win the Champions League? No. Did I think they'd win something under him? Yeah. yeah. The Conte that I had in my mind's eye... Not this demented Tasmanian devil jumping around in the dugout looking at himself about the idea of what he thinks he's entitled to. You cannot, no matter how much you blame Tottenham Hotspur's ownership model for not having the same ambition as Chelsea's and other people, you cannot make it about them when you lose to Sheffield United in the FA Cup, when you go out of the Champions League to a rather mediocre AC Milan side when you lose against Wolverhampton Wanderers when you go 3-1 up against Southampton and you decide to change the tactics on the pitch so you end up drawing a game 3 all. these are not cultural things these are management things mm. this is Antonio Conte it's yeah. all Antonio Conte in yeah. that situation now would it would it stop the argument if they'd have beaten if they'd have beaten um Sheffield, beaten Blackburn in the quarterfinals, got to the semi-finals against whoever they play in the semi-finals right, and, 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 and got to a final won the FA Cup would that have stopped the noise about Tottenham Hotspur? No, probably not. And if they'd have done it at expense of the top four, what would the argument then be? Oh, the no, argument, the argument would then be another. buy a bigger squad. I yeah. get the argument. Buy a bigger squad. But you you know, there there is lots about Tottenham that are good. And there's lots about Tottenham that could be better. Daniel Levy is not the walking embodiment of the perfect football club chairman. But you you honestly feel now that we're at a stage Ryan Fraser will be in charge next time Tottenham play. 
I would that rain, well, rain, well, well, rain Mason. If it was well, Rain well, Fraser, well, well, you would believe no, you'd get nowhere, would you? Yeah. Um, but if the point is that you've got to make the right decision, it's done. It, I mean, I know I say these things and people put banners up outside football clubs a year later when they find out that my sentiments were wrong, but this is done. It, I mean, it, you know, t- turn it over, it's cooked. It's yeah. done. Yeah. There's nothing left of this relationship. Conte, for whatever reason, decided that he had the God-given right. And people say, it's, well, it's commendable. It's wonderful. It's wonderful that he said these things because they're bleeding true. Of course, that's the you know promoted bias argument that when someone says something you like, you'll believe everything they've said and everything else beneath that is right. What about what you do with your players? Oh, that's not that's not Conte's fault. Well, whose fault is it then? Mm. This what we've seen from Antonio Conte is commensurate with an underachieving, once upon a time elite manager getting paid far too much money. Yeah, it, 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 I'm sorry, the Tottenham the Tottenham crowd and the football crowd that will say that Daniel Levy is not the answer. Maybe he's not, but what's the question then? If he's not the answer to certain positions. Okay. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.